get downloading the one football app it is free the link is in the description for that all the latest news your transfers your gossip stats with newcastle united every football fan needs it hi everyone so it is match day um i'm already on i'm actually already in london um I actually drove down last night this has been recorded on sunday night we've just seen the mackhams get beat as well which is a beautiful thing uh, a little bit unsure for whether i'll bump into a few of them Maybe they'll be crying again. We've already seen that on Netflix. But that was beautiful seeing uh, Sunderland get beat in the final leg. But we're here to talk about the two. And obviously we're playing Arsenal tonight. Uh, just a quick reminder for the build-up. You remember you've got the NE1 FM. The lads are live from 7pm. So do tune in online. And also if you're in the Newcastle Gateshead on radio as well. Uh, that is available uh, for free. Uh, but Arsenal tonight. Look, it's going to be a difficult game. It really, really is. I'm not expecting to get much from, from tonight's game. I'm... Look, well, he probably asks himself the question, well, why are you going down? Well, that's not a million dollar question because I think it's hope, isn't it? That's what you have going into these games we're against Arsenal. And a couple of the results of the weekend have not went Newcastle's way, which isn't. Which is. We're still in a good position, don't get me wrong. But if we can get a point at Arsenal, I think that'll be massive. It'll be absolutely huge. I'm not expecting to. Look, I think the next three games are much more bigger games. I've seen to Mark, obviously, yesterday, which the video went out, is that the ones like Brighton, Palace and Southampton, look, we're nearly safe. We are. But... If you want to win one of those games, you want to win against around you. You don't want to suffer defeat. So if we suffer defeat, you don't want it against a Brighton or a Southampton or a Palace. You want it against Arsenal, don't you? Because then they don't gain an advantage away from you. However, I think Rafa will play deep. However, he's going to use Almiron, Perez and Ronan. I'll be absolutely shocked if if none of those three, in fact, all three don't start. I'll be absolutely gobs, gobsmacked. Um... I mean, you've got to, haven't you? Because you can't. The, the replacements, the likes of Atsu, Hoslu, they just aren't good enough. They aren't. So you have to go with those three. That's the threat. In certain midfielders, Shelby, I think Hayden will keep his place. Does Shelby play there? Does he risk him or does he go more secure with Diarmi? I've got the funny feeling that he might go Diarmi. I hope I am wrong tonight when the lineups are announced at 7 pm. Um, the back five, I think, will be a wing back system. I kind of see that changing. It's a question of Jamal Asel's fitness as he comes straight in as you go on the bench. Um, I think the lads were saying over the weekend that they don't reckon Paul Dummett will start. I think that'll be really, really harsh if Paul Dummett doesn't start personally because he was per my man the match against Bournemouth. I thought he was sensational. Um, Arsenal in the other hand, look, they've got threat going forward. And it, whether they play Aubameyang on the left or Lacazette, because I know they interact. Whether Ozil, remember his wonder goal last year. Ramsey, obviously, we know he's likely to go to Juventus. Well, in fact, he is going to Juventus. He can score goals. Mkhitaryan, they've got players off the bench that make a difference. We can't. Look, <laughs> we've got to perform, and I think every one of the back five, including Dubravka, have got to perform for Newcastle to get out from it. I can't say it personally, I think we will go down, but like I say, it's hope that we can get something, that's why we're going doing a daft, going, coming back a daft o'clock, we'll not be home till 3 or 4 in the morning, probably even later, and then, but then we've got work the next day, so I'm meeting 40, obviously this has been filmed Sunday night, so it'll be tonight, uh, today that I'm meeting 40 obviously, I'll be with him, and Johnny later on at night as well, I'm sure you'll see the carry on of Arsenal Fan TV around the ground somewhere as well, um, but let us know what your score predictions are for night. Can we get something for it? Or is this just one of these where it's a free hit or a bonus game, some people call it. If we've got bigger fish to fry later on in the next couple of weeks. Look, we are almost safe. I think one more win will do it. But I don't personally think it'll be against Arsenal. Thanks for watching. Ta-da, bye-bye. This is Anyone FM. Join the lads on Anyone FM Live from 7 p.m. this Monday. They're gonna be building up to the game of Arsenal with the lineups. Also, we've got in the studios the Maka Mover. He's gonna be fighting Sunderland's corner. He's gonna be talking about their season. Does he miss the derby? And also the Checker Trade Trophy final. Also on the agenda is Ayose Perez's future. The Spaniard is obviously speaking out recently. He wants out, allegedly that is. And also the fans forum is discussed. That's Monday, 7 p.m anyone fm that want your calls and your texts to get in touch with the studio call us on 0191 432 7234 or text the word anyone followed by your message and send it to 60777 this is anyone fm oh!